Greetings. I am the man behind the mask, and I'd like to talk to you about hockey. Yes, let's talk about hockey, the show that journeys through the history of the sport of ice hockey from its disputed origins to the game we see today. Now, when it comes to playoff traditions in hockey, the most well-known and celebrated is that of growing the playoff beard. But why, though? Perhaps hairy players win more games. At least, that seems to be the theory behind the tradition of growing a beard for the playoffs. Now, as far as anyone can gather, this hairy tradition was started back in the early 1980s by the New York Islanders. No one is quite sure whether it was meant to show the unity of their team or that the idea came about accidentally because the players were just too busy to shave, having played four games in five nights during their first round series. But regardless, as the Islanders' 1980 playoff run lengthened, so did the hair on their faces. More and more, until they were finally lifting that treasured silver chalice to cap off their amazing playoff run. When the Islanders began their cup defense in the playoffs the following year, they would once again let their facial hair go unchecked. And for the second year in a row, the fuzzy-faced Islanders would be the ones to hoist the cup at the end of the season. This process would repeat two more times, as the Islanders became the first American team to win three and then four Stanley Cup titles in a row. Nowadays, players will go without shaving until they are eliminated from the playoffs or they win the cup. Some will, however, trim it a bit after a loss to try to turn their luck around. Though not as prevalent as in hockey, this tradition has also found its way to other sports, including football, basketball, and baseball. Even fans will get in on this tradition, growing what they can in support of their team. That is, of course, until their team loses. So, get ready to put away those razors and trimmers, because the NHL playoffs will be here soon.